Morning, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a shortcut for integration by parts known as the tabular method. Now, as it turns out, this will probably be one of the greatest shortcuts you'll ever learn about. Now, before we get to what this shortcut is, known as the tabular method, the table method, or the DI method, let's make sure you can understand the basic integration by parts formula because we're going to rearrange and repackage it in a table. So we have our basic integration by parts formula, the way we usually arrange our work, u and dv, du and v, but for the tabular method, we're going to rearrange it slightly. So we're gonna set this up in a table. First column here will be the signs. Start with a plus and alternate from there. The middle column is your U or choice for U, and the last column is your choice for DV. Now, if we fill that in here, this is U, that's DV. Remember, you differentiate to get DU, but DV, you integrate to get V. So going down the middle column, you're going to differentiate, and then going down the last column here, you're going to integrate. Now, how do we extract our answer, the integration by parts formula? Well, notice your diagonal there, u times v, gives you the first term. Your integral of v du, or minus the integral of v du, that's going from the rightmost column across the left, the integral of v du, and there's a negative in front. So for the examples we're going to get to with the tabular method, the most important thing to realize are your UV terms. Those are diagonal terms. And we're gonna basically take the sine, multiply across, and then go diagonally. Some of the problems, the ones that are a little bit more difficult or a little bit trickier, they're gonna require us to realize if we go left, we're gonna set that up as minus the integral of v du. Now, the integrals that this shortcut called the tabular method actually are shortcuts for are usually three standard ones where we have a polynomial, what we're calling p of x, being multiplied by an exponential, sine, or cosine. And if you're asked to calculate an integral of one of those, a polynomial times an exponential, sine, or cosine, Basically, the degree of the polynomial tells you how many times you're gonna integrate by parts. So if you have a third degree polynomial, you'd have to integrate by parts three times, and that's just really tedious. The tabular method, you'll be able to integrate and crush that in seconds. We're gonna to get to those examples momentarily. All right, now taking our work from the basic integration by parts formula and rearranging it in a table, the tabular method just speeds this up. So we make all of our usual choices for u and dv. Why this is called, in some places, the di method is with u, you differentiate, and dv, you integrate. So depending on where you learn this, you might see it written like this, but it's all the same. Your u column, you're gonna repeatedly differentiate your DV column, you repeatedly integrate. Now, the simple problems, you just keep differentiating until eventually you get zero, and that's gonna happen if you repeatedly differentiate any polynomial. Eventually, you'll get zero. And the other column, you just repeatedly integrate. Now, how you extract your answer for your original integral, the integral of U DV, your diagonal products are your UV terms. And the important part here is we're gonna basically add the sine diagonal products all the way down. So just keep adding all your sine diagonal products, taking your sine, multiplying it across, and then multiplying diagonally. And then eventually, when you get down to here, zero times the next diagonal, that's just gonna come out to zero for everything thereafter. So eventually, for the simple problems, when you get zero, that tells you it basically terminates. 
All right, now this is the setup for the tabular method. Let's go ahead and get to some examples. So before we do that, maybe pause the video, copy all this down into your notes, and we'll get to our first example. For our first problem, we're gonna take a look at a really simple integral, the integral of x squared times e to the x. The point is to just understand how the tabular method works and how to extract your answer from the table. We make all the same choices for u and dv, so here we would choose u as x squared. And let's go ahead and immediately, repeatedly differentiate that. So the first derivative will be 2x, differentiate that again, you'll get 2, and then differentiate one last time, you'll get 0. All right, we would choose here dv as e to the x, and we repeatedly integrate this last column. Remember, you integrate dv to get v. So your antiderivative for e to the x is just e to the x, and it's e to the x all the way down. All right, the only thing we're missing are signs. Always start with a positive, a plus, and alternate from there. So plus, minus, plus, and minus, and we are done. We just need to extract our answer. We take the sign, multiply across, and then diagonally. Remember, your diagonal terms, those are your UV terms. Now, I'm not quite as good as black pen, red pen, so I have to switch hands here. And if we multiply across and diagonally, we can extract our answer. And you can see here, we get it positive times x squared times e to the x, minus 2x times e to the x, and then plus 2 times e to the x. Let me just write down the products exactly as we see them here. So plus x squared times e to the x minus 2x times e to the x, and then plus 2 times e to the x. And since we're done integrating, plus c. With practice, you can simplify this as you go. Notice every diagonal product contains an e to the x in it, so you could have already kept that in mind and factored that out. Of course, you can factor e to the x out here, and write your answer as x squared minus 2x plus 2 times e to the x plus c. But again, with practice, you can do that as you go. Now, again, this one was really simple just to understand how to extract your answer with the table or the tabular method. I'm going to have other problems linked down in the description, ones that are a lot more work, integrals of the form a polynomial times an exponential sine or cosine, where we're gonna have extra factors like e to the 2x, sine of 3x, cosine of 4x. Those ones are gonna be a little bit more tedious and more work, but we'll smash them very easily with the tabular method. Hope you enjoyed the greatest shortcut in all of mathematics. If you did, if you're enjoying the content, support the channel, like and subscribe.